Hello there, morons. It's Victor, not 2020 Chopper. That's just my t-shirt. I like the One Piece characters. I don't really re read uh, One Piece, but today I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about Tokyo Olympics and teach you some language from the uh, the thank you speech or the acceptance speech. I don't know what they call that kind of stuff because, you know, I don't really watch uh, Olympic acceptance speeches usually. However, I believe her name is Takigawa Kristaru, and she speaks uh, the, the, the Japanese woman who gave the speech. And, of course, it's all in French, very elegant French, but what do I know? I don't speak French. Sounds, sounds pretty elegant to me. Anything you know, I can't understand <laughs> sounds elegant. But I want to read the uh, subtitles because as she's speaking French, they're putting Japanese subtitles in, in, in the description. I'm going to put them on the screen here and we can learn from that. Here, the first part, it says, Watashi tachi wa, watashi tachi wa, minna san o tokubetsu no omotenashi de o mukae itashimasu. O mukae itashimasu, the last part of the kanji that does go backwards, is basically roll out the red car carpet. We're going to welcome you. We're going to come and greet you. O mukae is like, go and get you, go and greet you, go and meet you, roll out the red carpet. Tokubetsu no is special, tokubetsu no. Now, watashi tachi wa, we, minasan o, minasan is for everybody, for everybody, we, for everybody, are going to give you a special tokubetsu no omotenashi. Omotenashi is hospitality. Omotenasu is to welcome, to welcome someone. And by rolling out the red carpet, umukai itashimasu. Sounds kind of redundant, right? Because omotenashi and uh, mukai itashimasu is both welcome, come, go and get. That's the first That's the first uh, thing on the screen there. Then she says, Nihongo de watashi tashi. Uh, excuse me. Nihongo de. Sometimes it's uh, difficult to switch gears from English to Japanese. So I, I feel like my Japanese sounds a little strange, but let me let me try again. Nihongo de watashi tashi wa sore o tatta. So she says, in Japanese, Nihongo de, we, watashi tachi wa, sore o, for that, for that, uh, for hospitality, tatta hitotsu, just one kotoba word, de hyogen, express, suru koto, there's one way to express, and we have, can, dekimasu. We can express that in just one word, and then she says it, she says, as you can see, o mo te na shi. O which is today's focus word. Now, this word is actually not, not a word that you see that much. Uh, I hear it occasionally, and to be honest, it's, it's the kind of word where I'm like, what does that mean again? I don't remember, you know, that kind of that kind of expression. But it is um, quite a useful word sometimes, so it's one of those words that you, you should know, good to know, and let's take advantage of this to... to tattoo that word, to burn that word into our brains, okay? Now, the word comes from omotenas, which is to welcome. And uh, I, I talked to Tomoko-sensei, and I said, give me some uh, typical uh, sentences for the morons. She says, Here, here's one from Tomoko. Kokoro kara no, omo, uh, kokoro kara no motenashi wo uketa. So basically, I was, uh, I, uketa was to receive. So someone invited me and took really good care of me. From, from the heart, kokoro kara. Kokoro kara, from the heart. Um, in Japanese, uh, an explanation of that, according to Tomoko Sensei, Jibun ga shoutai sarete motenashi wo ukeru. So, Jibun, me, shoutai sarete, I was invited. Sareru is the ukemike, the um, passive tense. Shoutai is to invite. I was invited. Motenashi wo ukeru. And I was welcomed. I was welcomed. I was treated well. The opposite uh, situation, kokoro komete motenashita. Kokoro komete is kind of a set phrase that means with all your heart, putting your heart into it. Kokoro komete, motte nashita. So I very I welcome someone with all my heart. And the Japanese translation according to Tomoko is jibun ga motte nasu. So you jibun ga motte nasu, welcome. Okay. There's another very good use when you have guests at your house, and we are you know it's it's kind of a um, humble way to say hey I'm sorry we couldn't you know. I had nothing good to offer you, and I'm sorry I had such a crappy, uh, you know, I treated you so badly here, even though you probably didn't. It's, you know, it's, it's kind of a, hey, sorry, the, the fridge was, you know, we were all out of beer. I'm sorry I had nothing to offer you. In Japanese, you would say, Nan no omotenashi mo sezu shitsurei itashimasu. Nan no omotenashi sezu. Nan no omotenashi mo sezu. I forgot the mo the second time. Nan mo nan no omotenashi mo sezu. Nan no omotenashi mo sezu. Shitsure itashimasu. So this is a very polite, humble form, which in Japanese we say kenson. Kenson is humble. When you, we have a whole classification of language called 
humility or humble. Anyway, I'm going to spit this out quick. Put it in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, uh, this is a bit of a uh, a bit of a um, advanced um, lesson today, but uh, just remember, omotenashi just means hospitality. <laughs> okay, if, if that's all you get out of this lesson, uh, get that. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks, uh, Tomoko Sensei, for uh, contributing to this lesson via email. Uh, she's a little bit busy today. And I'll talk to you guys very soon. Thanks for watching. Remember to support the videos. Do what you got to do. You know what to do. You know what to do. You know what to do. See ya.